All right, guys, we're back with another video today. In this video, we're going to go over three main key things, okay? We're going to go over one huge level on the SPY, the IWM, and the QQQ. These are levels. If these levels break, we're going to see a crash in the market, okay? If this happens, we are definitely going to see a crash in the market. So this is something that you need to be prepared for. We're going to clear all these levels out, okay? If you guys know, I did get puts on the SPY exited those for about a 60% return um, on Friday. I am looking to get some more puts on the SPY. I also have some other puts like on Apple and stuff. So I am looking to load up on a lot of puts right now. But at these levels will really tell us what we need to do and how we need to do it. So make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and let's get into it. So like I said, we'll be on a 30 day, 90 minute chart. We'll be talking about the SPY, the IWM, and the QQQ. So we'll start with the SPY first. Okay, so let's see. So we'll talk about the SPY. We'll talk about the IWM, which is a Russell 2000. If you guys don't know, AMC is in this Russell 2000. So once you see it going down, pretty much AMC will be going down also. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And the QQQ. Okay, so let's go with the SPY first. And I'm only going to give you one, well, I'll give you two levels. A, last defense level, which means if that level breaks, we're going to crash. And I'll give you a resistance level, just in case price comes up, we're going to be looking at resistance at that price. So first level I'm going to give you guys is right around four, then this is for the SPY. 434 is the level that does not need to break this is the main level that i am watching currently 434 if this level breaks and does not retest the next day i'm loading up on puts okay i'm loading up on puts now where i see we might see some resistance is right around 447 so let's put that level on here this is a resistance level. If this resistance level breaks on the upside, then we could be seeing some bullish movements higher. But right now, main level 434 on the SPY, ticker symbol SPY. We do not want this to break. If this breaks, we're definitely going to see SPY test those 400 levels, okay? So I'll be getting huge put options here. Huge, huge, huge put options here if it breaks 434. Main two levels you need to be watching. Like I said, if this breaks, then we could talk about some bullishness. But for right now, this level is what we need to be watching out for, 434. Okay, so video is sponsored by me. Make sure you guys come to Alpha Traders Club. We have the original signals where you get my buys and sells for options and shares. We also have a chat room where we'll be talking the markets every day. Make sure you come snag that up. Once this gets to 200, it will be full and it will be closed. Okay, I keep telling you because I know people would be messaging me. Can I get in? No, you can't. You have to wait till somebody leaves. That's the only way to get in. But until this pool is not there yet, so make sure you come get your spot in a regular. And then we have VIP. You get everything in a regular, and VIP also gets their own uh, disco room and different signals. Okay, very, very more precise, clean signals. I think VIP is the best bang for your buck. And you get two monthly live teaching zooms. You also get 27, 24 7 access to the stock market options crash course. So the crash course does come in the VIP. Okay, VIP is, is more of me teaching you how to trade. Than just coming for signals okay it's more of me teaching you how to trade and once this gets to 50 it will be closed it is getting close to there so i'll advise you guys to come on and get your spot because once it's closed it's closed and you can still use will half off until february 7th to get 50 percent off will half off discount code to get 50 percent off stock market options crash course to better help you learning make sure you guys don't forget to get your moomoo account that's where i'm depositing a hundred dollars to start the hundred dollar challenge We'll be picking the plays together on the live stream. I will be live streaming at 9.30 a.m. Central Time every day. So make sure you come there. We'll start with $100 on the Moomoo account. You do get up to five free stocks. So when you get your Moomoo account, you deposit $100. The five free stocks might even equal the $100. So you basically plan it for free. Okay. So there's really no downfall to it. I am sponsored by Moomoo. I, was, I wanted to pick a different platform to do the challenge on. So I did pick Moomoo. I am sponsored by them. So... Make sure you come get your account. I think I'll be starting around Monday, okay? Probably, well, not Monday. I'll, I'll let you guys know when we start uh, the the challenge, okay? 
but it will be soon. I just want to give you guys some time to kind of get the money settled and stuff. And then make sure you come subscribe to Will Knowledge Crypto. I want to get to a thousand subscribers. Okay, make sure you subscribe over here. Make sure you come check out the videos. I did post a video on Cardano, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, Dogecoin. Make sure you come check it out and subscribe. And let's go back to the charts. Now let's go to the IWM. This is the Russell 2000. Like I said, AMC is heavy uh, weighted in this one. Main level on this one is I would say about 190, 194. This is the last defense level that we want to be looking for on this one. Now, again, if this breaks and does not retest the next day, crash is coming. We could possibly see IWM start uh, pulling back like below 180s to 170s. Okay. So very, very key main level that we want to be watching out for. I think we might see some resistance probably like around 203. Like I said, no buying levels right now. We need to see where the market is going because these levels right here will tell us if we need to buy or load up on puts. Resistance are right around 203. If resistance breaks on the upside, that could be bullish and start to get calls up here. But I'm expecting some resistance. So just in case it doesn't fall down here automatically, like say it falls, um, like say it falls a little bit like this, and then it comes back up to the resistance, and we see heavy selling pressure here. I'll even get puts there. Okay, that's something else I'm looking for. And then this last defense level 194 can be a target to exit half and let the other rest kind of run. Because once it gets here and break and does not retest the next day, that could be very bearish. We'll be looking for a crash here. Okay. So main two levels I'm looking for on the IWM. QQQ, ticker symbol QQQ looks heavier right now. So if you notice, IWM doesn't look as heavy as like the SPY. You see that? See this huge dips right here, right? IWM, IWM hasn't really made that drop yet like the SPY and QQQ. So that's something else that we could be watching out for too. Might be some potentials um, in the IWM to actually get uh, some cheaper puts. Okay, so that might be a potential. I will look more into that. Um, we just need to see some more price movement on Monday and then I'll kind of update you guys on that play. But just make sure you're in a buy and sell signals room. Link in the description, pin in the comments before those rooms are full so you can know all that information. So the QQQ, pulling it back. Now, the QQQ is actually the closest to his last defense level, and that's about 345. So we might want to be watching the QQQ a little bit closer because that might tell us a little bit more. Because if QQQ starts breaking it and doesn't retest, that could tell us something about the spy and the IWM. Okay, so it'll kind of be right now. This is a leader right now. So right around that 345, we really want to be watching that to see if some resistance uh, comes in there. And then, I mean, uh, if some support or buying pressure comes in there or if it breaks. And then resistance is right at 355. So let's put this right here. Resistance, 355. Right there, if that breaks on the upside, then we could potentially look for calls. But right now, like I said, um, we're really watching this level because it's even down after hours to 346.85. So it's down about 30, 40 cents or so after hours. So it might be hitting us on Monday, something that we really need to watch out for right around that 345 area. If that breaks, does retest, crash is coming. I'll be loading up on puts. I'm actually looking to load up on puts on all three of these. Looking to get puts on all three. Okay, looking for some big, big, big positions on these put options. I think we can make a lot of money off of them, but we just need to be uh, sure basically um, that it's gonna break. And like I said, I did have puts on the SPY. And these are the main levels for QQQ, okay? So make sure you watch that 345. And if you guys want to update on all three of these on Monday, make sure you write update. All you have to do is comment update, and I'll update you guys on Monday after the market, okay? Just comment update down below, and I'll update you guys on the uh, all three of these um, on Monday, depending on what price does. And like I said, we did get put options on Monday for the SPY. We got put options, I believe in here, we got put options. So that profited us about 60%. We got 60% on those put options. Like I said, we can make money on the downside and upside. So right now I'm looking to make money on the downside and the money that I make on these downside, I'm putting those to like my long-term accounts and shorter term positions that I'm looking at, okay? So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure we find these plays, be more precise, try to build those cast positions and I think we'll be all right. 
And always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.